Today we are in Mi Ta, Tien Gien Province, Vietnam. We're doing a Vietnam Veterans Habitat for Humanity build. This is my first time volunteering for Habitat and it's been an amazing experience. My main responsibilities, I got to straighten out rebar, which is a lot more complicated than it sounds. Um, and I've done a lot of sanding and some painting of the doors and windows that will be going into the house. Over 60% of veterans leaving uh, the military desire to serve and haven't been asked. And, and they're looking for ways and places to give back to their communities. Builds like we're doing in Vietnam are just another expression of veterans coming together to serve a community. We enlisted because we wanted to serve. Um, we wanted to do some good in this world and doing something like this after you're out and, and have transitioned into civilian life, it's, it's a way to continue that purpose and that greater good. I served in the Trang with the 281st Assault Helicopter Company. I was a uh, pilot in a UH-1H uh, to UE. I've been involved with Habitat since 1982 in various ways. Then I ran across the uh, Vietnam Veterans Build, and that struck a chord. Any opportunity I can get, I like to uh, volunteer with Habitat. Um, so it, it was just a perfect combination. I, I wouldn't have wanted to do it any other way. The teamwork, I think, is the heart of what veterans seek. And it's, it's something that you, that's indescribable in the military, is that, that bonding that goes through, especially combat veterans who've been to war with people. And even though you don't talk to them for another 20, 30 years, you, you come back together and, and you find that bond and a, and a way of, of building and becoming a team. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to, to talk about things that you've never been able to talk to other people about. For many years, uh, even when I met a veteran, I didn't talk about my experiences over here. And maybe that's part of the, the healing process I didn't realize I needed to go through. But um, it is quite an experience to get together. It's like an instant uh, camaraderie ship that you have. My decision to come on this build was definitely influenced by my father. He is a Vietnam veteran. He was a loadmaster on C-130s. He asked me to come and I, I feel truly blessed that he is sharing this experience with me. There were years growing up when I really, I didn't understand. I've heard the stories in the past. I've, you know, hung out at the American Legion and at the VFW and I've, I've heard the vets talk about it but to see them here talking about it, it's a totally different experience. I would definitely recommend this experience to other veterans, even those who may still have some animosity because you will be around these people for only a day or two and you realize your animosity is misplaced. Uh, the war is over, uh, this is a peaceful country and we need to be at peace with them as well. Uh, and it is a beautiful country and they are beautiful people. There's so much to take away from an experience like this and I would highly recommend any veteran to come on something like this. I actually had a friend who was supposed to be on this trip and, and had to cancel and couldn't make it and I cannot wait to get him on my next build with me wherever that might be.